So I don't think I need to spend any more time today convincing you that we're living in a different time. Some people call it a disintegrating culture. The question, however, that's in all of our minds is this. It's not what in the world is going on anymore. It's what on earth do I do? How can I live with confidence in a chaotic world? As I travel the world, people are asking me, how can I face the future with greater confidence? They're concerned about the threat of nuclear war. They're concerned about the annihilation of our planet. Many are concerned about the subject of global warming, the melting of the polar ice caps, the possibility of thousands of cities being submerged in water if the oceans rise to such a degree. Others are concerned, of course, about climate change and the fact that this planet is getting warmer might lead to droughts and great food shortages. Crime riddles our city streets in the major cities, and people are concerned. They're asking, what kind of world will I be able to raise my children in? Where is this world headed? The psychologist tells us that we should look within. The opportunists tell us that we should look around. The optimist says we should look ahead. The pessimist says we should look out. And God says we should look up. In the midst of the chaos of our generation, we are to seek a perspective that can come only from God. Just as the compass points north, our entire disposition should be trained so that it points toward the things of God and the things of heaven. Jesus gives us a marvelous promise in John, the 14th chapter and verses one to three. Jesus says this, let not your heart be troubled. Jesus says, do you have a troubled heart? Do you have an anxious heart? Are you stressed out? Jesus says, let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go to prepare a place for you, I will come again. What a promise. Jesus doesn't play games with us. Jesus doesn't lie to us. Jesus said, I will come again. You can count on it, friend. You can bank your life on it. This promise is secure. It's certain. Just as certain as the sun rises and the tide comes in, just as certain as that, more certain is the promise of Christ's return. We are to remember, ladies and gentlemen, that we are citizens of that place toward which we are encouraged to focus our attention. Philippians tells us that our citizenship is in heaven, from which we also eagerly wait for the Savior. We are citizens of heaven. It says, not only are we to set our hearts on heaven, but we're to set our minds on heaven. Notice the second instruction. We must not only seek heaven, we must think heaven. Staying centered on Jesus involves our minds as well as our emotions. We are to mind heavenly things. The focus of our mind is not so much to be on the place we call heaven, but on the spiritual reality of heaven that controls our whole motivation. This is to be our pattern of life as we are followers of Christ. For you died and your life is hidden with Christ in God. The Bible says that when Christ died, we died, so we're died to the old life. And now, that's what happened in the past. Here's what's going on in the present. Our life is hidden with Christ in God. We are secure in our relationship with Jesus Christ. I won't feel very secure in myself, but I do feel secure in Christ, and I feel secure in God, and the Bible says, I have both. I am secure in Christ and in God. Notice, for you have died and your life is hidden with Christ in God. 1 John 3, 2 says, Beloved, now are we the children of God, and it is not yet revealed what we shall be, but we know that when he is revealed, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. Now, have you noticed that in this passage of Scripture, Paul has covered 
all of the tenses of life. <laughs> we have been raised with him in the past. We are hidden with him in the present and we're gonna appear with him in the future. We may be hidden now, but one of these days we're not gonna be hidden anymore. The Bible says we're coming back in the glory with the Lord and we're going to be revealed with him and he is our life.